Uh, so today I'm just mucking around with some paint. I still have some of this white left over and we're just gonna put this all on the canvas um, because that's exactly what I'm gonna need to cover the canvas with. This is a uh, house paint, uh, satin enamel, Artist Loft Flow White, and I also have GAC 800 Liquitex Pouring Medium and Floetrol in here. And honestly, I started off using um, a recipe uh, that Tara of Pieces of Tara Artistry posted. Um, I, I guess it's, I know it's not her recipe and she has mentioned before that she does get this or had gotten this recipe um, from uh, Dwight Pores and Sarah Taylor. So um, I I like exact measurements. Um, that's how I find things to be more successful. And Tara has uh, broken that down. So if you guys are struggling with the pearl pour, be sure to check out um, pieces of Tara uh, so that you can at least get certain measurements and have a successful pearl pour. And I am like watching this baby real fast. Um, so, uh, you know, Dwight Pours and Sarah Taylor, uh, you know, worked on this as well and had success with it, but I'm a more of a straight up measurement person and I was able to um, get the measurements from Pieces of Tara on her videos. Um, she breaks it down. Uh, she's not the originator of the recipe, but it's broken down well enough to understand and have a successful pour. Now, I'm not necessarily doing a pearl pour at all. I'm just using up the paints that I have mixed up um, so that I can move on and clean up the mess that I've made <laughs> in my kitchen. I think we want the kitchen back. I'm assuming the family does. So right now I'm just spreading all of this paint off, um, out and getting somewhat of a nice balance of paint on here. Nice coating. And I have a lot on there. So, I saw some ridges over in the corner there, so I wanted to make sure I got those off so it doesn't leave any bumps in the dried piece. And yeah, all right, so the canvas is coated and I got paint on my sweater. Um, and go from there. All right. I'm going to take these off and just grab a new pair because I don't want paint all over my cups. All right. We're going to get this off of my sweater. It happens, guys. It happens. All right. So... I think what I'm going to do is swipe and schmear. Um, and I'm going to use the spatula and I'm going to put the paints on it. So I'm not sure if you guys will be on screen, but let me see. Yeah, so I'm going to do it over in this corner. And this is uh, Payne's Gray. This is Nickel Azo Gold, I believe. And that's Deco Art. I have Jenkins Green here. 
and I have metallic cobalt. I don't have very much room. And I am just, oh, okay, I guess that's gonna dictate where I'm going. All right, we're gonna come in with the gold. I love, love, love these colors. So a puddle over here looks really, really cool. All right, my tweezers for a second. A little hair right there. Okay, how about we do Nicolazzo, the Jenkins Green. Gold, and we're going to use metallic cobalt. And we're going to come in over here. that up. I love this area. <laughs> This time I'm just layering it as a glob on top.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm being very careful as to not muck up and muddy the composition a little bit, or the paints for that matter. And what I want to do is stretch this just a little bit. I love what's going on in here. And I've never used nickel, azo, quinacridone, whatever the heck it is, gold. <laughs> so um, it's stunning. It's not really moving much. I don't want to touch it. This one area sort of bugs me a bit. Um, just a little bit. I'm trying to figure out how I can fix that. So, I'm gonna really tilt it this way if I can. Or I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> I'm not really doing so good with moving the paint on this one because there isn't a whole lot of paint left. This will look awesome in a gold frame. Move this over to here before an accident happens. I don't think it would be a happy accident. fill in that area and I got a little bit of the metallic cobalt over on the corner here I want to make sure that's clean
really don't like that area. This area is really messing with my eyeballs. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this to dry because this is so pretty. And I am going to bring you guys in also for a close up and uh, go from there. So yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys in. Okay, so here we are. Um, there is such beauty in this piece and I'm really, really loving this center area here and the nickel azo gold next to um, what is the Payne's gray right here. Ah, uh, it's stunning. I love it. Um, this is the area that I actually picked up off of here and put up on here. And I really think that came out pretty cool. So, pardon the ring light, guys. And, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, the nice little swipey schmear that, um, I did. And the ring light really needs to go away. I would turn it off, but you wouldn't be able to see the colors as well. Um, so that is, uh, that's that. I hope you guys had some fun. I'm really digging using the spatula to create movement in a piece, um, as well as um, my recent pieces with negative space. I want to go a little more cleaner with my look. Um, but, you know, I'll bring back, you know, my galaxy pores and hopefully a ninja swipe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Uh, Sylvie G, thank you so much for your uh, generosity um, in supporting my channel. And uh, yeah, follow me on Facebook, S Mac Art. Help me get to 10K. And uh, you guys have a great one. Bye.